All right, so we have got our, we're gonna do our egg drop soup. Super easy, it's just like uh, the egg drop soup that you get from the Chinese restaurant at three o'clock in the morning when you're starving and you've been drinking too much. Um, but ours is simple and it's easy and it's really fast and it tastes just as good. So we're gonna start out, I've got five eggs cracked into a bowl, use large eggs. Just whisk these up. You want them whisked very thoroughly. All right, so I'm gonna do mine today in the Instapot. Uh, you can do it on the stovetop, that works just as fine. I just find that this is a little bit easier. So I've got my Instapot set on the saute setting, or you can just put your, um, uh, use a, a large uh, eight quart, 10 quart saucepan uh, and put it on high heat. And to this, it's gonna sizzle because my Instapot's a little hot right now, but uh, we're gonna use, uh, 32 ounces of um, chicken stock. All right. And to that, we are going to add a tablespoon, a whole tablespoon of black pepper. teaspoon of garlic salt and then as traditional with all Chinese food MSG baby so uh, I use the uh, accent it's it's called a flavor enhancer but it's literally you look at the ingredients and it's MSG um, so we're gonna use the teaspoon of this if you have the little uh, uh, packets Size on, really fantastic. You can use this as a replacement. Uh, you can find this in the um, alternative or international or Mexican food um, section of your grocery store. But one packet of this is the same. And this is literally just, I thought it was this amazing seasoning. And then my husband so carefully pointed out that it's literally just MSG and red food coloring. So I thought that I reinvented the wheel and I found this amazing spice, but no. Um, so traditionally your egg drop soup is gonna um, require Chinese five spice. I don't particularly care for it. My husband doesn't like it. Um, if you want to use it, you can. It doesn't really change the flavor too much. It just adds that like licorice kind of taste, which is gross. So nobody likes that. All right, so. So you want to get this to a boil. Kind of stir around your liquids. Alright, so four or five minutes, uh oh, four or five minutes, let it come to a boil. Um, in the meantime, I want to make sure these eggs are Super, super fluffy. Alright, so we will snip it for a second until this comes to a boil, and then we will keep going with our uh, easy Instapot egg drop soup. Okay, so we brought our stock to 
uh, a very low boil. So you bring it to a boil and you drop it all the way down on low. So it stays really, really hot, but it's not a rapid boil. So inside of this, we're going to add a tablespoon of butter and let that melt. If you break it up into little pieces, it's going to melt a lot faster for you. But see, we got a lot of good steam, but we don't have any bubbles, and that's what you want. Because our goal here, we're going to create a swirling motion using a spoon, so like a vortex. So you spin, you know, go in a circle until your liquid is all kind of going in a circle, and then we're going to slowly drizzle these eggs in, and that creates the egg drop, egg flower situation. All right, that looks about good. All right, so we take our spoon, at least 10, 15 stirs. So you've got a good, a good vortex going in there. Perfect. You're gonna take your eggs that you've beaten to a pulp and just drizzle them in halfway. Perfect. Take your spoon, get it spinning again. Perfect. And then dump the rest in. Pull it off of the heat and immediately serve. Eggs are very, very, very fast. They don't need long to cook. If you let them cook too long, they're not good. So this is already done. And this is our knockoff version. Whoops. Of, hey, get back here. This piece, literally, what, what? You don't pay rent, get out of here. So I like to garnish this with a little bit of uh, green onion and some more black pepper. Yeah, is it tasty? It's tight and approved. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna crush a little bit of black pepper onto the top. I'm sorry, I forgot to pre-cut some green onion, so I'm not going to do that. But a little bit of green onion on top is delicious. Um, this is Chinese egg drop soup, just like you get it from the Chinese store, except there's a lot less chemicals in it. So if you like our videos, we would appreciate it if you would subscribe, hit the little like button, and we also really love it if you drop us a video or a picture of what you made and let us know how it turned out. So. My recipe is a little bit off, let me know. And I'm happy to respond to your comments and let you know uh, how to fix whatever it is that's going wrong in your kitchen. Because in my kitchen, things are fabulous. All right, thanks guys, and stay tuned for our next video.